Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be making my final video of the day, and I decided I should do another application review on my favorite app in the App Store right now called Peggle. Um, I think it's near the top. It has a pretty good re rating. And, you know, as I first guessed, uh, from the screenshots, it looked pretty dumb. But since I've installed, so I decided to try it out. Um, I think it's $2.99. I'm not exactly sure. But, um, you know, don't get fooled by the screenshots. This is an amazing game. I didn't know there was a PC version of it. I just thought, you know, they made it for iPod Touch. But I guess if you played the computer version of Peggle, you'd probably like this one too. So, go into my apps folder. And here's Peggle right here. You see the icon? Um, it's just like this little ball thing with a P inside of it. And so let's open up Peggle. And you're not get if you buy the game, you're not gonna get this loading screen. I'm sorry, guys. I did not purchase this game. Um, you know, I think I might because I really want to support the developer of this one. I've played this game so much that I'm almost guilty to play it because I cracked it off install us. But like I said, I just wanted to try it out because the screenshots look dumb, but yet it had a five star rating when I got it. So, you know, I just I think I'll probably purchase it. Um, so I apologize for that. Please don't get mad at me. But once you open it, you're going to get to this first screen and it's going to do this loading thing. And then you, you can touch to play. And you go to the main menu and you get challenge, dual, quick play, adventure, stats, option, and replays. And options, you can do sound effects, music volume. You can do colorblind mode where there's no colors, I guess. You can do left-handed. I don't know what that does. I guess just makes the game so left-handed you can play. You can do a demo. And you can watch this person play. They're shooting it right there. And so you can sort of see that. So let's go back to the main menu. Um, done. Whoops. Main menu. Um, stats are just, you know, high scores. You can get, you can also go to trophies, and those are all the trophies I have. And I still have a lot to complete. I'm going to tell you that I've played this game for about five hours. So it does have a lot of replay value and plenty of depth. Um, you can look at some of your replays. You can save it using the instant replay button. Uh, so that's a pretty cool feature that most games do not have. In duel, you can play another player and see how well you do against them. In challenge, uh, I locked it, but it presents 40 challenges for advanced players. I have to complete all of adventure mode to unlock, which I haven't. You can just do quick play and choose a level and just play. And adventure is what I'm doing right now. And so I'll show you guys the gameplay. In Adventure, you have various levels as various characters. Here, I actually, I'm going to go to Quick Play. Because Adventure will not be able to show you all the features. Let's go Stage 2. Let's play this game, this level. And I am... I can choose any character that I've unlocked. There's this guy... Um, Bjorn, and each person one has a power power up. Uh, the goal of the game is to hit all of the orange pegs in ten different, and you get ten balls. And if you hit a green peg, that provides some sort of power up. You can uh, get the super guide shows which way your ball will bounce. Uh, multi ball, which throws another ball into the game, attaches an ancient pyramid to the ball bucket to help you get free shots more. Use the super advanced alien technology to light up all nearby pegs. Touch the screen to activate with flippers. So basically it's like pinball from then. Um, so I'll just choose random. Choose a random character. Okay, so I got that uh, the cat from Egypt. So the goal of the game is you use this little thing over here to aim. Or you can just move your hand across the screen. I like to use this because it's a little more accurate. And basically, you just aim where you want to hit it. Now, the point of the game is to knock out all of the orange pegs with 10 balls. 
So we're going to fire, and it actually fires right where you aim it. And it's going to, and so you, you see, I hit that green peg, and so now the little thing on the bottom is in the shape of a pyramid. And what this helps you do is get free balls more. Um, if it goes inside that little hole that's um, sliding around in the bottom, you get a free ball. So uh, that's a really cool feature to the game because um, you almost need free balls on every level to complete it. And so there's that was a good one. I'm going to see if I can get a free ball. Yep, see, pyramid pickup. And you get points for hitting pegs. And if you get over 25,000 points in one fire, uh, you get another free ball. Uh, the purple po pegs are just point boosters, so you try to hit those too. Um, the blue pegs are just there. Um, you get extra points if you can knock out all of the pegs, not just all the orange ones, um, but all of them, even all the blue ones. Let's see if I can pick this up. Nice. Let me, I'm going to try to complete this level uh, just so I can show you guys what it looks like at the end of each level. Jeez, I'm like dominating this. This is also a very easy level though, but still. Okay. Okay, good. See, I still have like eight balls left and I only have three more orange pegs. So I'm just going to knock these out real quick. This one's a little harder because I got to knock out all these in the way. Oh, lucky. And once you hit that final peg, it'll go into this mode called Extreme Fever. And it'll go into slow motion. And each peg you hit will be an extra, like, a 1,000 points. And you see these little things at the bottom. You have 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. And you try to, you just wait that time. Let's see what I get. I only got 10,000 that time, but that's all right. And let's see what my fever score was. Jeez, a lot. You get extra points for how many balls you have left. And uh, I set a new high score for that level. 388,000 is pretty good. Um, so that's the gameplay of Peggle. Uh, I think that's about it with this review. I would definitely rate this 10 out of 10. So much depth, so much replay value. Um, overall, my favorite game in the App Store. Thanks.